So Mo Farah of Great Britain. Good to see him here in Ostrava for the Golden Spike. Could prove to be the final 10,000 metre race for the British athlete Farah at a one day meeting, in fact. The meeting record of 26 20 31 set by Kinesa Bekele. It was also a world record here in 2004, the last time the event appeared on the men's Ostrava program. Really is a big incentive tonight. We're still a dozen men chasing the qualifying standard of 27 45 0 0 for the London World Championships. Well, there's hardly any room at all whatsoever, as per usual, as the men line up on the start line. There he is. Sad to see him hang up his spikes as well, Farah. Been a credit to himself, he's been a credit to his profession, he's been a credit to Great Britain over the years. Wonder how he'll play this one here, Farah, whether he'll look to lead from the front. Three pacemakers, incidentally. Or as to whether he'll buy his time. Seen him do it quite often the last few laps, just eases his way up the field and then after that the rest is history. Gabri Selassie. So great to see him on the lineup here. So five Kenyans in the lineup here, a couple of Ethiopians as well. Every Selassie. The personal best, of course, of 27 19 71. Perhaps the man that can hurt Farah if Farah isn't on it here. All of those questions will be answered in a touch under 30 minutes from now. But he'll look to put down a marker here, Mo Farah. All the athletes here this evening just need to take some kind of form into London. Under 40 days from now, of course. <laughs> so the world lead so far. Set by Abadi Hadis of Ethiopia, 27-08-26. Well, the crowd, as per usual here in Ostrava, play their part in just encouraging and really getting behind the athletes on the track, as well as the field, of course. I mentioned that there are three pacemakers and all three of them already are getting to work. Mavic Kuchera of the Czech Republic, Kombich of Kenya, and Kameli also of Kenya. Nowhere to be seen. So far as Usain Bolt, but feast your eyes on another legend in fourth place right now, Mo Farah. He certainly would have added a lot of spice to the evening here, Farah. Very close to the 15,000 sellout here this evening, and when people like Barra. Farah and Bolt, when they appear on the card, you know that his best of 2.27 ended up in third position. So one pacemaker has stepped aside here as we go back trackside here for the men's 10,000 metres. Farah in second position. 
Looking very, very smooth indeed here, just behind Matthew Kimeli of Kenya. So Kameli, the final pacemaker of three remaining here, and Farah. Very good, still a long way to go, of course, but Farah, of course, maybe in the shake-up at the bitter end, no doubt about it. It's the first race at this length for pretty much most of the field here this evening. It's just Oliver Ibirata, Abdi, Kimeli, Kaya, as well as Bezabe, who have set times this year. Here's Bezabe in sit position as we speak, got some distance to just get himself on the shoulder here of Mo Farah. Plenty of time to do so. Well, he wants to go out with his legacy intact, Mo Farah. And that legacy will be done and dusted should he go ahead and delight the London public again in the World Championships. Who can forget 2012 in the Olympics, that golden weekend. Mo Farah won a three gold medalist on the Super Saturday. So 16.59, that's the season's best for the German, but work to be done here in these remaining jumps. Just with any laps to go here but the more important thing is now there is a division with regard to the front five to the rest of the pack well the pacemakers still hanging around here well one of them at least and it's the two camellies here sandwiched in the middle here it is still Mo Farah Pace so far not quite good enough to see the meeting record for. But something I spoke about as the athletes lined up here that the incentive is there really for most of the field to get themselves that qualifying standard time. That has to be the carrot dangle in front of them here today. And of course, a first position, well, that's a huge bonus as well. Mo Farrell, we expect to see him in first place. Something that he's lived with for many years now, and it's something that also has seen him rise to the challenge. So Doris would be delighted with that. Christian Taylor, of course, in the men's triple jump. He has to be the man that everybody's looking to beat here this evening. Mo Farah, the man that everybody wants to beat in the 10,000 metres. Very, very shortly approaching the midway point. Well, five has now become three. Just look at the gap between the leaders and the chasing pack now. See it so often from Farah, quick look over the shoulder just to check as to where the danger lies. So 14 laps remaining, 11.48. 
and counting here. Great to see the crowd just engage as well as immerse themselves here in the events. How they love their athletics in Ostrava. Well, the pacemaker, Bernard Camelli, has done his job and he's done his job well so far. Still hanging around. Matthew Camelli, well, he's still hanging around onto the coattails of Mo Farah, Christian Taylor. So a quick glimpse as to the events earlier on in the women's hammer. Back live here to the track. And it is a two-pronged attack now as to who will get to the finishing line in first position. Well, it's unravelled exactly how we expected it to go, and it's Mo Farah ahead. Matthew Camelli of Kenya, 27.53.90, a season's best and a personal best. And he's on course, perhaps, to get close to that, but on his mind, it has to be as to whether he can dislodge Mo Farah from his perch with nine laps remaining. Both these athletes make it look so, so easy. They've just flexed their muscles, extracted their dominance already over the field with plenty of laps still to go. Some of the pack will be lapped or very, very close to being so at the rate of knots that these two are going at the moment. The 26 46 57 that is the personal best for Farah but it'd be a tough ask to see him beat that here but you never know So just a touch under 20 minutes from now. We bring the curtain down on the 56 Ostrava Golden Spike with Usain Bolt in the men's 100 meters. So we're at the 7,000 meter mark, 3,000 to go. And all eyes are on Mo Farah of Great Britain and Matthew Camelli of Kenya. Oh, will we see the Mobot? Should it be Mo Farah who wins? No doubt we'll see it in London. Sixteen eighty, the season's best. That was his second jump. Sixteen forty-eight. So it's just slackened off slightly. As we're about to witness Farah as well as Camelli, just about to lap the back markers here. Well, what an event this has been here. The Meski Stadium in Ostrava has witnessed some wonderful races in recent years. Also have the honour of hosting the IAF Continental Cup in 2018. Plenty of records set on this track. Temperatures have just dipped off from the start of the event this evening, but it's still very sticky. We can see that Mo Farah as well as Kameli. So some of the back markers now have just been bypassed by 
a couple of athletes here who are head and shoulders above the rest of the field. Farah still looking smooth, still looking calculated. And Kameli just a couple of strides behind the British athlete now. lose it until the last lap here Farrett whether he will wait whether he'll buy his time as to whether Kimeli will make the first move four laps remaining the penultimate discipline on the track this evening before Usain Bolt makes his appearance and Christian Taylor that with plenty of centimeters to play with He knows he can do better, we expect better. So far he's still way ahead of the rest of the field. Way ahead of the rest of the field are Mr Mo Farah, as well as Mr Matthew Kameli. Very shortly going to be just a couple of laps here before the end. Oh, the crowd now just beginning to raise the decibel level in appreciation here for these two athletes. couple of laps to go 25.07 I think the meeting record is not in danger of going here this evening this is all about just shaking off the cobwebs and getting some form and momentum going into the London World Championship for both of these two and that golden time of 27.45 dead the gang that has to be met tonight I believe it will be. Well, the MC getting involved in just cranking up the crowd here. And now it's Kameli who's made the first move. We'll hear the bell very shortly. And he's placed his chips on the table now. Will we see Mo Farah respond? There's the bout, 26-12. So, game on here. Mo Farah has led for the last six or seven laps. But Matthew Camelli, well, he's seen enough and he's made his move now. Will we see a response from Farah? Because at this stage, Farah just finds that extra gear, that extra level. But Kameli has thrown down the court lip for Farah and Farah has responded and the crowd too have responded to him as well. Well, Kameli, way before the bell, put down a marker to Mo Farah. Farah responded in the only way that he knows how to and with that, he's kicked on here and he will take some catching from this position. Farah it is who has just displayed a level of patience throughout this meeting. And that patience is about to be rewarded as Farah takes to the line by some distance, 27-12-10. And that is way below the standard required by Farah. And he'll be delighted with that. He crisses the track there. <laughs> well, it was a two-horse race for quite a while, wasn't it? Some distance between first, second and third. And I have to say, there were 21 athletes in the field here this evening. And 19 of them, well, they were just beaten into submission by a wonderful display here by Matthew Camelli and Mo Farah of Great Britain.
Well, what a magnificent athlete he is. He's proved that once again, Farah. Real crowd favourite. No disrespect to many of the athletes showcasing their skills this evening, but Farah, certainly one of the athletes that many of the supporters have paid decent coin this evening to witness. Once he was overtaken by Clemeni. Didn't wait too long before he made his move, and after that, it's all academic as to whether he would win or not. So, there's some lucky spectators getting an autograph there for Mo Farah. 27 12 10, the winner of the men's 10,000 metres. Not too far off the world lead there from Farah. from one legend who has done the business in the men's 10,000 metres moving very swiftly on to another legend there will be a huge void to fill when Usain Bolt does hang up his spikes at the end of this season the man has really just added the X Factor to the world of athletics for well over a decade now. Times went.